What's up guys? Welcome back to Ridgeline Adventures. Uh, today we're going to try and do a catch and cook for you guys. Uh, unfortunately, my tripod broke so my man Brett is holding the camera for us today. But uh, you'll see him in some clips and uh, catching some things. But in order to do our catch and cook, we have to do a real system. Um, we're going after crawdads and we're not trapping the crawdads. We're trying to actively catch the crawdads. Uh, without getting in the water. So what I have here is a hobo reel and it's just out of about two inch uh, thick uh, stick you can find in your backyard probably and I went ahead and I carved it up I made a little insert in here to where you could put lures um, extra fishing items with a, with a cap. Fortunately my cap fell off and uh, I lost some of the stuff but that's okay because we don't really need that much stuff. Um, Moving on up, here's here's your little handheld system. You can put some paracord right here. I had that, but um, I just feel the more natural feel for the hobo reel is uh, without anything on it. Um, and moving up further, we have uh, our line, our fishing line. And for you know little things like this, little ponds that we're at, I just have about 10 pound test on here in order to um, you know just catch small things. So you're probably wondering how we do active fishing for crawdads. Well, right here we just have a little lure with a hook. The hook is not to hook the crawdads. The hook is just to keep our lure on the, on the end of the line. And what the crawdad does is he comes up and he sees it and he'll clamp onto this. And you'll give it a little bit of tugs and he won't let go he'll stay on there because that's his food and so then what we do is we reel it back in and put him in here and off camera as we were setting up Brett was able to uh, catch one and uh, I'll show you that guy right now so inside here we have a little crawdad that Brett was able to catch using the lure so we're gonna try and catch some more and uh, see how this goes but well, you guys stay tuned uh, hopefully we can get some more and have a nice uh, crawfish boil and um, and that's yeah that's pretty much it that's what we're out here doing we're doing a catch and cook so hopefully we get a lot more catch you guys So guys, I don't know if he, oh, he's flicking me with water. Oh, he just fell down in. But uh, we just got another one. So that makes two right now. Two crawdads out of this little pond.
All right, guys, so we were only able to catch two crawdads, uh, kind of small, but we're going to keep them. We're going to go cook them up and uh, see what else is in store. But uh, just wasn't our luck. There's nothing was biting. That uh, was too murky. It was too murky in the river. Yeah, the each pond had its own murk in it, and you couldn't see through. The sun was glaring down. So uh, we'll catch you guys with a little bit of movie magic, and we'll see you guys in the kitchen. All right, guys, welcome back. Um, like I said earlier, we only caught two, but we're gonna cook those two, and we are going to cook them in some garlic salt. So let's get our propane with our stove top going. And then we'll get our water going. So we're going to let our water get to a nice boil. And then we're going to put, uh, put our crawdads in there. And while that's doing that, we're going to throw some of this garlic salt in there. Put a lot in that. Cool, so we went down to uh, a little river not too far from where uh, we live. Um, and they have, you know, crawdads in the pools and things like that. Last time we caught 12 of them and we had a nice uh, crawfish boil. Um, this time we only got two, but that's okay. We'll still cook them up and eat them. See how they taste with garlic salt instead. Um, if you guys want to see more catch and cook videos, uh, you know, shoot it down in the comment section. Um, I'm going to try and plan and get a, uh, fish, uh, fishing catch and cook going. Um, either at, be at the beach or, you know, at a lake or something like that. Um, we do have some plans on climbing Mount San Jacinto. Um, that's going to be coming up in future episodes. Um, if you guys want to see some reviews on some of the items that I use all the time, you know, shoot that in the comment section, let me know, and, uh, we'll go ahead and, and shoot some of those videos out. So, I'll catch you guys back here once this water is boiling. Alright, so we got our water to a rolling boil, and we're going to drop our crawdads in there. That's all there is to it. I wait about five five to seven minutes and we'll pull these suckers out and have our little meal <laughs> all right our crawdads are done cooking you see how red they get um, there's kind of a technique in order to eat these but they're so small that you just kind of it's like break. No point. <laughs> yeah you break the tail Pull the back tail off. And then you kind of just work down the back area here. Oh, man. Got the poop Dude, that's hot. Huh. Huh? That's hot, man. I love that hot. Come on, chill. Oh wow, of course you're breaking half. How's it taste? Tastes really good. Alright, so when you're done, you get this nice little uh, tail portion out. Kind of like a little lobster. And that's what you eat. Good like always. And sometimes a lot of people, they'll suck the juices and stuff out of here. But not me. It's not really... Uh, too much in there. Maybe juices, I guess, but yeah. Well, if you guys like this catch and cook and you guys want to see another one, 
drop a like on the video you know uh let me know in the comment section we'll try and get some more of these going uh maybe next time we'll try and find a new spot to where we could get more crawdads crawfish um we'll cook up more maybe try something new uh we're definitely gonna go fishing um and probably hit a couple more mountains in the area that we haven't hit before but uh yeah drop a like on the video if you guys loved it and we'll see you guys on the next one Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face Tell me that you love me, even if it's